Listen, bub. Wolverine might be number seven on my list of the 463 coolest comic characters, but his implausible backstory really gets under my skin. I'm not talking about the fact that Marvel created a superhero with special mutant healing power and then decided that he was from Canada, a country with socialized medicine. No, I'm talking about the explanation for the foot-long claws in Wolvie's arms. When Len Wein first created Wolverine, the claws were just part of his costume. But when he turned up in the revamped X-Men, the claws turned out to be metal implants. Of course, they never got around to explaining how he got this elaborate system of artificial muscles and tendons that would have been required to extend and retract them. It's implausible, but not unforgivable. What's unforgivable is the way the recent comics and the current movie series introduced a retcon, retroactive continuity change, duh, that made his talons far more dubious. Now we are to believe that Wolverine was born with claws made out of bone that were later coated with the indestructible metal adamantium. So that makes him totally natural and much easier to swallow, right? Wrong! because there's no such thing as bone claws. Mammals have claws made out of keratin, not bone. Hey, you boneheads at Marvel, I have an idea for a new superhero, Tibia Man. When danger is near, he pops out his shin bones and whacks baddies with them. It's preposterous. I mean, how are we expected to... Okay, but I mean, excreting bones in combat? Uh, that's so ridiculous that they would never, never, never... Okay, I surrender. I can't think up a superhero more anatomically idiotic than that. Join the ANA, Angry Nerd Army. I'm your general. I'm looking for a few good nerds. Enlist with a video reply today.